Hi, it's Joe here from Medtesting Kit. If you purchase one of our test kit, come with a sterilized swab, liquid buffer, test cassette, template, and all the instruction you need to become a confident self-tester. Now simply flick through the training photos, it's all going to be in there, or simply go to our website. Does it work? The only way is to prove it to you. Now go down to the next YouTube video, you'll find out yourself. If you even go further down, I'll show you how to measure the residue. Is there demand for self-testing kit? I'll either simply Google med testing cowboy, med testing cam, med testing ripoff, the list goes on. Let me show you how this works. Recommendations from the manufacturer is to shake this buffer liquid for around 30 seconds before you use it. Now after that, we're going to insert this sterilized swab into the buffer. Now we'll open the cup and insert this inside there. Now, the recommendation is around 30 seconds, but it's in there. We're going to show you what's a good area to swab in the house. Now, kitchen is one thing you don't want to miss. Heat and water cooks meat. On top of the range of wall, it's quite important. That's where the steam goes. Window frame near the stove, it's another area. Now, if you get a chance, remove the filter inside the range hood. If you're near a door, window frame, wall, and ceiling. If you're in a bedroom or another window, window frame, wall, and ceiling. And if you're near a door, one there, one there, and silly. Now, there's two ways of testing this test. One is an initial screening, second one is a detailed test. I'll discuss what detailed test will be. Now, right now, we're going to focus on initial screening. This is the first test we're going to do in a property. We don't know anything about the property, we just want to find out if it's positive or negative. Now, we're going to cover as much area as we can. So swap as much area as you can. The more you swap, the more accurate it will be, the more places you find a yes or no answer. Two things you need to remember. When you're doing the first initial screening, remember about shoulder height first. Now, the reason why I say about shoulder heights is because you might have a cousin or a neighbor who's met addiction. Now they can come here and touch all the high-end traffic and all the lower area. What happens if you swap this in that area? That's going to come up positive, but that is a false positive. That's why above shoulder height is quite important for your first screening test. The second one, sensitivity. Now, we do have three types of sensitivity. 0.02, which is the high sensitivity, 0.5, mid-range, and 1.5 which is the New Zealand standard. Now you want to use these two here for your first screening test. You don't want to be using this at this stage. Now the reason for that, if someone's smoking meat, 1.5 microgram which is the New Zealand standard is not going to pick it up. It'll come up negative. When they start smoking, they're going to find a way to cook and they're going to find a way to sell it, to make money, to treat their addiction. By the time it's going to be too late. So it's really, really important to use the two on the top, which is the high and the mid-range. When you catch them early, it's easy to clean. Now, our instruction will come some tips how to clean on a low level, residual level. Now, how many test kits do you require in a house? Now, same thing. If you flick on the trade me photos, minimum recommendations will be there. Or that's also available in our website. Now, 
The recommendation is to leave there for a minute. Keep squeezing it to get all the residue into the liquid and keep shaking it like that. Give it a good squeeze and keep shaking it. Now you can keep dipping this and keep swabbing it, there's no problem. Because all you need want to find out at this stage is a yes or positive. No, there's nothing in there. That's all you want to find out, you don't want to do any measurement or nothing. Put the cover back and give this a shake for around a minute. Now we're going to do three drops on the S area there. That's five seconds interval. So that's one, two, three. Now out of that, you're going to get three results. That's a positive mark where the C line has got a very dark line in there. T line is pretty much hardly nothing. That's a positive result. Now, negative result will come up like this where both got line. It's really, really important to look at the T line there. Now, T is a test line. That line needs to be very dark to verify it's negative. So you're getting two dark line in there. Now, what happens if you get something like this? where there's a C line, the C line is faint. That is partially contaminated. Just for example, if you purchase a 0.5 microgram, that reading there will be 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Now, you've done a top area above shoulder heights, the result is negative. What happens next? For verification, I would advise you to get another Taste on the lower area, same thing, stick with mid-range and high sensitivity taste. I'll swap all the areas where the hand touches easily. Doors, opener, kitchen handles, all the hands can touch. Range, buttons, stove, light switches is really really important, people touch it every day. Door handles, do another test of round and see how that goes. Now what happens if it comes up positive? This time we're going to be needing to use a template. And this time we need to use the 1.5 microgram, which is the New Zealand standard. Now remember we have three types of sensitivity. If it's positive, we're going to be using the 1.5. And we're going to be using the template. Now you're going to need two of this template and two 1.5 microgram to test one area for verification. All you need to swap is this area, you don't want to go outside that area. You can have one there, or one here, or one here. Then you'll same thing, you're going to have three types of result. You're going to have positive, negative, or partially contaminated. Now even you're getting an, a partially contaminated on a 1.5 test, I would really recommend to get a laboratory test. Remember, this test kit are only indicative. It will give you a hint. It won't give you a definite answer. Now, once you finish purchasing this on TradeMe or, or, or on our website, you want to pick it up urgently. We'll email automatically email you our phone number. Give us a text. Within five minutes, we'll reply where you can pick it up. Now, usually, on the business hour, business days, Monday to Friday, is usually in Albany, near the Westfield Shopping Center. On the weekends and after hours, it'll be in Green Height. Now, for courier, if you're out of Auckland, before three o'clock, if you receive the payment, you're very likely to get it the next day or the day after that. Once again, it's Joe here from Med Testing Kit. Now, our details, email address is medtestingkit.co.nz. Our email address is medtestingkit at gmail.com and our phone number is 022-045-3682. Thank you for watching. Bye.